my name's Louis, and this is my sailing, snorkeling, and flying adventure on the Great Barrier Reef. Uh, uh, I'm a little scared to get the shot because I don't like needles. I'm the same way too, Big Bird. I like to bring something from home. It might make me feel safe, like a favorite toy maybe. I also take three big breaths. And then think about all the fun things I can do after I get the vaccine. You're not going to get COVID if you have these vaccinations. Yeah. Inflation was deliberately created. And what is inflation? Like, really? It's, a, it's, it's theft. It's a hidden tax so the government can get bigger. Uh, why hasn't our government done a study on natural immunity? The NIH continues to refuse to voluntarily divulge the names of scientists who receive royalties and from which companies. If I was as stupid as they seem to think I am, I wouldn't notice that big media and big pharma are largely owned by vast asset management firms BlackRock and Vanguard. But I'm not that stupid, and I have noticed. Who the fuck are you people anyway? Hey, who the fuck are ya? No matter what people think about me, I know I'm a human person. And just because I'm down on my luck, don't give nobody no excuse to call me no Bob. Let's be clear about one thing. No one grants me freedom, for I am a free person. You see, I've been up, and I've been down. I've smiled and I've frowned. I've made every gesture that a young man could steal. And I know that I'm married to the sea. Well, I know that I'm married to the sea. You see, some people are locked down, and some are free. But I know that I'm married to the sea. Early on in the trip, I was forced to take shelter from strong winds for a couple of nights behind a small island, East Hope Island. I've anchored there before, but had never set foot on it. So I went exploring and found a path under the trees which cuts right through the middle and to the other side. It's such a small island that at low tide, you can walk all the way around in just a few minutes. It was on Hope Island that I met a gentleman by the name of Ben Krupp who told me of a World War II aircraft, a Vulcan Vengeance, which had crash-landed into one of the outer reefs during the war. Ben is an expert in discovering wreckages. He's been at it much of his life, and even now, well into his 80s, he's still doing it. Now, although it was a nice thought, I had already made other plans for my trip. However, as chance would have it, We'd meet up again a few days later, and along with his friend Hubert, we went about searching for it. And find it, we did. All those years of having me wits about me has given me a terrific eyesight, good hearing. A brilliant sense of atmospheric changes. I've learned how to interpret them as I've got older. I don't want to be with drips and cornflakes and lumps of wood. I want to be kids with lots of laugh. But just that breaks the monotony and comes out with something different, original. Yeah, characters. There's no characters now. As I said goodbye to Ben and Hubert, I learned that we would all in fact be heading to an uninhabited sand island. I took a detour and explored a section of reef along the way, and unbeknownst to both of them, 
I had an aircraft of my own that I looked forward to showing them. Is this real? Or is this just a ride? It's just a ride. And we can change it anytime we want. Some people have been on the ride for a long time and they begin to question, is this real or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered and they come back to us and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid ever because this is just a ride. Tick, 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 tick. Well, it's been quite an adventure, but it's time to be heading home. Mother Nature has one final gift for us to remember. The offer of certainty, the offer of complete security, is an offer of something not worth having. I want to live my life taking the risk all the time that I don't know anything like enough yet. And I'd urge you to look at those of you who tell you that you can only live that you can only live by accepting an absolute authority. Don't think of that as a gift. Think of it as a, think of it as a poison chalice. Push it aside, however tempting it is. Take the risk of thinking for yourself. Much more happiness, truth, beauty, and wisdom will come to you that way. Thank you. So 